Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina, and today we're gonna be opening my first Nana Na doll. Now, I got this doll over the weekend at Toys R Us in Macy's, and this one right here really caught my eye when I seen Brooke from X Canadet. When I seen her unboxes a couple months ago, and at first she was around $30, which I was like, because usually dolls that I like, but I feel like I get wait till she goes on sale. I usually wait. But this one, I just thought she was so beautiful. And finally, they had her on sale in Toys R Us for $19. And she's my first on and doll. And I'm super excited to touch and feel and see what she looks like. So if you guys want to see my review on my first on and doll, just keep on watching. So first, you guys already know we're going to get into the box. Alright, so pretty much these on and nas are named after animals so one is like a lobster one is a koi fish and this one is a swan and on the back you see the beautiful picture of the swan which is the one you get and the one you get they also put like a little label right here so you know I almost accidentally got the koi fish I mean there's nothing wrong with the other ones but this is the one I had my eye on and I was so scared thank god I double checked and made sure it was the right one but I'm really excited to get into this doll. I don't own any Na 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 dolls. And I just think she's so beautiful off a of review. So I just want to get my own opinions of her. And I like the sayings they have in the back. It says, welcome to the lifestyle of the plush and glamour. We've got a soft spot for wild style. Inspired by high fashion style by us. So it's super cute. And I really, really like that. And I love how it's in like a tin type of material so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and get a closer look all right so straight out of the box this is what she looks like so it shows all her i guess her outfit is like all surprises on one side very familiar to a lol omg doll so i really do like that um honestly as an adult collector surprise things i'm like 50 50 because i do like the surprises because you get to open it and feel it and get surprised like I like the mystery the mystery of surprise but at the same time sometimes I wish they were already put together I don't know it's a hate love thing that I have so I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these ties to let her free from her box guys okay, so she's free from her packaging and first impression she's so pretty you guys look at her baby hair she has white baby hair on one side like a platinum blonde and then she has like black baby hair it's a little washed out because she is plush material and i just realized they do have a tag in the back i do plan on cutting that off actually i'm gonna cut it off right now just to show you how it looks when it's cut how the back of her head looks with the tag cut off her hair is very well rooted for a plush toy i never had a doll that was a plush toy that had hair before this is a first for me and I think she's so pretty and I didn't expect her to be this small. I thought they were way bigger because they look bigger in other reviews. And first off, I really love how they have like this printed jewelry on her wrist and her finger. And on the other side, they have some bracelets printed right there and it's very nice. And I feel like she has a very pretty face screening. I was worried about the face screening because I did see in some reviews that the face screen could be stretched a little too much to where you see like the fit stuffing for the na 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 dolls. But I feel like I got a really good one and I don't see any flaws on her so far. I do love the music notes on her legs. I think it's so pretty and it wraps all the way around to the back and it's so beautiful because me personally i love music i collect music funko pops if you guys didn't know i do and i love this and i think it's just a beautiful and it made her look so elegant and she has like this leotard where they have this mesh right here because when i was little i did dance for a little bit when i was young my mom did put me in dance one time for a little while and I remember going to the ballerina store and buying like this mesh material and a leotard and I did, just think this is so beautiful. Her eyes are just so pretty and look at her lashes how it has the white and the black and her eyebrows are so pretty and her little nose. I think she's just a very pretty doll. Now 
they say that there's like surprises for me to put on her but i kind of want to fix this top knot to make it more of like a bun in my opinion so i'm just gonna go ahead and off camera like wrap this around to make it to more of a bun okay so once i do that then we'll go ahead and open her surprises so I finished wrapping the piece that was hanging around her bun to make it look better in my opinion because I didn't like how it was just in her face like that. I just didn't think it was cute. So let's go ahead and get into her surprises. So I'm going to lay her on my lap right here and I'm going to open this bag. I don't have it in no particular order. Oh, before I do that, it does come with like this poster of all the dolls that you can get in these series. And this is the Nana Nana Teens. So there is more there is a peacock one right here that i think is very pretty as well for they all have names so the one i have her name is odette lakewood and this one is named queenie plum if i'm pronouncing it wrong i'm sorry um the next one is claudia pincer and the other one is kiko kanabori I'm sorry if I butcher that, but I tried like the best I can. But these are so cute. If you guys like fan art and you guys want to put it in your doll room, this will be really cute fan art to put on your wall or to frame it if you guys love to do that in your doll room. So let's open the first surprise and see what we got. Let's see what we got in the first one. So the first surprise is a comb, which is really cute. I feel like she does need it right now. Her hair is not frizzy. She has really nice soft hair. When I get towards the end, it is a little rough though. If you guys know what kind of hair Nana Na dolls have, drop it in the comments because I am fascinated to know what kind of hair they have. I'm not that great like when it comes to deciphering hair types, but I can tell the difference sometimes when things are polypropylene or when they're like um, saran and stuff like that. But I'm not an expert, so sorry, but her hair does feel nice it just feels a little rough at the end so if you guys know what kind of hair this is please let me know so the first surprise was a comb so let's see what the next surprise is all right oh this is the piece that i am so in love with so this is like her hair piece so it's supposed to go around her head so i'm gonna try to place it around her head it's kind of hard to do it on camera. I have her like between my legs. So let me go ahead and place it on her and I'll show you guys once I have it on her head. So sorry. I didn't know my camera was not recording. So I already have her dress and her headpiece on her. So let's talk about it. So I am absolutely astonished by this dress. And by the way, I heard Nana Na clothes fits Rainbow High. Let me know in the comments, have you tried any Nana Na clothes on Rainbow High and how much you like it? Because I would love to like style both of them in each other's clothes and can they fit each other's clothes let me know in the comments but i absolutely love this dress it's so pretty it has a big bow in the front that one half is white one half is black and it's so beautiful and i love how it has this glittery detail on the shoulders and i love all the ruffles the ruffles because each layer is giving something different like you have the black on one side and then the white on the other side and in the back it drops low in the back and then it drops even lower and it goes black and white and this twill like a mesh type of material and it goes all the way down like this so that's how far it goes down in the front with time it will drop but just because it came out of packaging it is a little bunched up and the front is short so it's a high low dress i don't know why companies like to make high low dresses for dolls but you know i don't have nothing against it i think some of them are okay some of them are not my taste but a lot of them are really cute and some people don't like that but in my opinion i think it's just i think it's really cute it depends on how they make it look and the taste that they do so for a headpiece it's a feather headpiece and one side is black one side is white which i decided to do it on a way where it's the opposite i just thought it was more flattering to the way that she looks and i absolutely love this and her jewelry is so gorgeous you see this i know i talked about it earlier but i feel like her whole silhouette like her shoes and everything just goes with her so perfect and like she has the black and white ballerina shoes and they do have a wire in them so you can move them a little bit the articulation of this doll she can move her hand up and down and you can bend it out and you can like turn it a little bit because there is wire in the arm 
for the head it it, it could turn around it does have rotation but i don't think it stays it's more like back and forth and then for her legs she can go out to the side which i love because she's a ballerina and she can go back and then the other side right here is so cute oh my gosh she makes me want this other one i saw in toys r us that was really cute as well and i cannot wait to display her on my shelf and i really do love her and then look at this look at the music notes right here like this is very good detailing for the well the doll was 30 dollars, but to get it on sale for the price i did i really can appreciate her and i absolutely love her let me know in the comments down below if you own any na 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 dolls what is your favorite Nana Na doll? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, turn your post notifications on if you want to get notified every time I post a video. Follow me on Instagram so you can see my beautiful pictures of my dolls. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.